Yes, welcome to another episode of Accounting Academy. This is me, Surendra Bethurpara, speaking to you. Today's topic is financial leverage. It's part of a financial management, okay? Let us see first problem on financial leverage. Before that, what is financial leverage? Financial leverage, it is the use of fixed cost bearing securities in the capital structure along with the equity capital to magnify or to increase the return to equity shareholders. This financial leverage otherwise known as trading on equity. So here a capital structure is designed by including major portion of debt capital or preference capital. Debt capital and also the preference capital. These two are bearing fixed cost. So we are including major portion of fixed cost bearing securities in the capital structure with an aim of maximizing return to equity shareholders. So judiciously, the inclusion of debt capital, preference capital and equity capital is done by the finance manager. And this is for maximizing the return to equity shareholders. So that is known as financial leverage. When we are using major portion of debt capital in the capital structure for maximizing the equity shareholders return, that firm can be called as financially leverage reform. That firm is known as financially leverage reform. Let us see the first problem on financial leverage. So after reading the problem, after explaining the problem, yes, we can see how to solve this problem. Okay. So first I read the problem. Yes, the capital structure of a company comprises 2,000 10% debentures of rupees 100 and 10,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each. Tax rate is 50%. Calculate the earnings per share EPS. If operating profits EBIT are rupees 1 lakh, 1 lakh 60,000 and 40,000. Okay. Yes, the capital structure of a company comprises 2,000, 10% debentures of rupees 100. So, 2,000 debentures of rupees 100. That means, number of debentures issued, it is 2,000. And the face value of debenture, it is 100. Therefore, total capital, uh, debenture capital, total debenture capital is 2,000 into 100. That is equal to 2 lakh. And, uh, Debenges are bearing 10% interest. 10% interest. Therefore, interest on debenges is equal to 2 lakh into 10 by 100. That is equal to 20,000. 20,000 it is the um, debenture interest and 2 lakh it is the debenture capital. And 1,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each. 1,000, uh, sorry, 10,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each. Number of equity shares issued 10,000 and face value it is 10. Therefore, Total equity share capital is equal to 10,000 into 10, that is equal to 1 lakh. Tax rate to 50%, calculate the earnings per share, EPS, you are required to calculate the EPS, okay? And uh, you have to calculate EPS under three stages, three stages. First stage, if operating profit or EBIT, earnings before interest and tax, EBIT, earnings before interest and tax, okay? 1 lakh, then 1 lakh 60,000 and rupees 40,000. One election to buy on the Arava, on the Nalpa the Nairan. You moon the case a little. One election to buy profit in the deal, Ningle Uri share and Ningle da Uri share and earnings at the Arigum. On the Arava than a profit in the angle, APS and the Arigum. Nalpa than a profit in the angle at the Arigum. See moon the case a little, Ningle EPS earnings per share calculated Chianam. Okay, EBIT moon the case later than the other. See, let us see how to solve this problem. Yes, welcome back. EPS at various levels of EBIT. EBIT, if operating profit is rupees 1 lakh EBIT. 1 lakh. So, plan number 1 for 1 lakh. Then, plan number 2B. 1,60,000 Plan number 3 40,000 For election duba Profit gittiyar Before interest and tax okay? Earnings before interest and tax 1,60,000 If it is If operating property is 1,60 
if upper time profit is 40,000. Okay, let us see how it functions. EBIT, then earnings before interest and tax. Interest before interest and tax. So, first less interest. Interest. This is the interest minus. So, what is the portion of interest? Interest it is a cost of a departure. 10 percentage of debages are issued. See, in the question it is given that 2000, 10 percent of debages of rupees 10 each, 100 each. Therefore, interest is equal to total debenture capital is equal to 2000 into 100 that is equal to 2 lakh. 2 lakh and debenture interest is equal to 10 percentage. Therefore, 2 lakh into 10 percentage that is equal to 20,000 it is the interest. Interest, so it is constant or it is the same in all these three cases. Ningala profit etraganda vetyasamanaram interest same arikum karnam debenture capital and fixed right and interest would be other one twenty thousand arikum ella case gal in a subway. So let's deduct this amount. Here it is eighty thousand, here one lakh forty thousand, and here it is twenty thousand. So it is known as Earnings before tax EBT interest it is already deducted, therefore it is known as EBT earnings before tax. The next we have to deduct tax from this amount. Tax it is 50 percentage, okay? 50 percentage, 50 percentage of EBT earnings before tax, okay? So here it is 40,000, 70,000, and 10,000. Therefore, balance amount is equal to 40,000, 70,000, balance 50,000, 50%, 10,000. So, this is known as earnings after tax. Earnings after tax because tax it is uh, here applied. So, this is known as earnings after tax 40,000, 70,000 and 10,000. So, this earnings after tax it is otherwise known as earnings available to Shareholders, preference shareholders, so details are not given in the question. Therefore, earnings available to equity shareholders. Earnings available, available to equity shareholders. This is equity shareholders. In the earnings in the world. In equity shareholders, in the election, you can profit in the world. अब ओर इक्विटी शेयरहोल्डर को ओर शेयर ने मगर यात्री याने एर्निंग्स की टिका ईपीएस ईपीएस मेंस एर्निंग्स पर शेयर शेयर ने मगर ओर शेयर ने मगर इधर आना ईपीएस का अपने चीज़ आने के लिए नम के दो बारम नंबर ऑफ़ शेयर्स हुआ ना दरफोर राइट नेक्स्ट नंबर ऑफ़ इक्विटी शेयर्स इक्विटी शेयर्स इट इस गि� so it is the same in all the three cases, 10,000. Next, EPS, earnings per share. Earnings per share is equal to EAT, earnings after tax divided by number of equity shares. Number of equity shares. So this is EPS, 40,000 divided by 10,000, that is equal to rupees 4. 70,000 divided by 10,000, that is equal to rupees 7. 10,000 divided by 10,000, that is equal to rupees 1. So, this is EPS. In your question, it is uh, given that it is uh, uh, asked that you have to calculate EPS earnings per share. Earnings per, it is calculated here. 40,000 divided by 10,000, that is equal to rupees 4. 70,000 divided by 10,000, that is equal to rupees 7. And here it is rupees 1. Okay. Then, if it is cost in our side, let us see how uh, the EBIT affects the EPS. EBIT, what is EPS affect the EPS? EBIT is going to be EPS, EBIT is going to be EPS, EBIT is going to be EPS. So, that's what we're going to do. Yes, after a short break, okay? Yes, welcome back.
Now, we are going to see the percentage change in EBIT and percentage change in EPS. EBIT is the percentage change in EBIT. Now, the question is, if operating profit is 1 lakh, 1 lakh 60 and 40,000. So, here, second case is, 1 lakh is 1 lakh 60 and 40,000. When the operating profit increases to 1 lakh 60,000 rupees from 1 lakh, what is the change it is happening in EBIT? What is the amount of change? And how it affects the shareholders return? That we are going to see. The percentage change in EBIT. So this can be calculated with an equation, with a formula. So that is change divided by amount at the first level. Amount at the first level. Change divided by amount at the first level. See, 1 lakh in 1 lakh 60,000 in a carbon bond down the change on. Above, if 1 lakh in a death, it changes by the kid. Okay, 1 lakh in 1 lakh 60,000 in a gum, 1 lakh in 40,000 in a gum change by the bow. In the extra percentage on a kid, that is an equity return a body from the man. Okay, 1 lakh in a death, it is a details of 1 lakh. 1 lakh 60 a gum, a three on a total with your son mother. So, 10, 60,000 more. 60,000 more. So, change is equal to 60,000 divided by amount at the first level. Amount at the first level. So, this is first level. 1 lakh. 60,000 divided by 1 lakh into 100. Okay. That is what we have done. 60,000 divided by 1 lakh into 100. That is equal to 60%. 60% increase is there in the second case when you are comparing that amount with the uh, first level amount. Okay. This e level might compare the same as 60% increase in diet. And, uh, any, 1 lakh rupees 40,000 diet to coronu. Once again, change divided by amount at the first level. What is the change? 1 lakh 40,000 diet. 60,000 minus 60,000 is a change. Therefore, here, Minus 60,000 divided by 1 lakh, amount at the first level, into 100, that is equal to minus 60%, minus 60%. It is per the percentage change in EBIT. And let us see, percentage change in EPS. So, same formula, change divided by amount at the first level, amount at the first level. Into 100, okay? Into 100. For getting, for making it as a percentage, uh, into 100. Amount of the first level. So here, what is the change? 4 becomes 7. 9 rupa. 8 rupa at the margin. What is the change? Rupees 3. 3 divided by amount of the first level. 4 into 100. That is equal to 75 percentage. 75 percentage. Then again, 4 becomes rupee 1. The change it is, once again, 3 divided by 4 into 100, that is equal to 75 percentage, but it is minus 75 percentage, minus 3, okay. Now, if you have to remove minus 3 and change by another, minus 3 divided by 4 into 100 is equal to 75 percentage. Percentage change in EBIT, here it is 60 percentage, minus 60 percentage. 75 percentage minus 75 percentage. So it is clear from this problem that when uh, the profit increases, operating profit increases from 1 lakh to 1 lakh 60,000 rupees, when the EBIT increases 60 percentage, EPS increases at 75 percentage. When EBIT increases by 60 percentage, EPS increases by 75 percent. Arubadha shadamana EBIT varthikumbo. Yerubadha tanja shadamana mana EPS varthikumbo. So in the same way, an opposite result occurs when EBIT decreases from 1 lakh to 40,000. One lakh shadamana nalpadha 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 koreyumbo. Minus 60 percent EBIT koreyumbo. Minus 60 percent again. Adhina koreyumbo nalpadha nalpadha. Then EPS declines by 75 percentage. That is 75 percentage. 
പ്രോഫിറ്റ് കൂടുമ്പോൾ ഇ ബി ഐ ടിക്കകത്ത് ഉണ്ടാകുന്ന വർധനയേക്കാൾ മോർ ദാൻ പ്രപ്പോഷനേറ്റ് എമൗണ്ട് മോർ ദാൻ പ്രപ്പോഷനേറ്റ് ഇത് ഇൻക്രീസസ് ഇ പി എസ് ഇൻക്രീസസ് പ്രപ്പോഷനേറ്റ് സിക്സ്റ്റി പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് ആ ഇവിടെ സിക്സ്റ്റി പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് അല്ല ഇൻക്രീസ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് സെവൻറ്റി ഫൈവ് പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് ഇൻക്രീസ് ചെയ്യുന്നു അതേപോലെ തന്നെ വൻ പ്രോഫിറ്റ് ഡിക്ലൈൻസ് മോർ ദാൻ പ്രപ്പോഷനേറ്റ് ചേഞ്ച് കൻ ബി സെയിൻ ഇൻ ദി ഇ പി എസ് അറുപത് ശതമാനം കുറയുമ്പോൾ അറുപത് ശതമാനം അല്ല പ്രോഫിറ്റ് ഇ പി എസ് കുറയുന്നത് എഴുപത്തി അഞ്ച് ശതമാനം കുറയുന്നു ദർ ഫോർ ദിസ് ട്രേഡിംഗ് ഓൺ ഇറ്റ് ഇക്വിറ്റി ഇസ് അതർവൈസ് നോൺ ആസ് ഡബിൾ എഡ്ജ് ഒരു സ്വാഡ് ഡബിൾ എഡ്ജ് ഒരു സ്വാഡ് ഇരുതലമൂർച്ചയുള്ള ഒരു വാർഡ് എന്നാണ് അറിയപ്പെടുക that means when profit is more when profit is more equity shareholders gets more amount of return when profit is very less profit is very less or the concern is suffering from loss equity shareholders have to suffer avar valare adhigam suffer cheyandi varunu so risk element uh, is more in this case in the case of a financial leverage idana ee problem ningalku kaanichirunnu okay financial leverage First problem is over here. Okay.